This morning we learned the name of that police officer accused of shooting Michael Brown. He is Darren Wilson. He has been a member of the Ferguson Police Department now for six years and never had any disciplinary action. And we're also learning more about the incident that could potentially change that entire case. Michael Brown was named a suspect in a strong-armed robbery that took place just before the shooting. And we want to take you now live to Ferguson. That is the police chief of that town who is about to hold a news conference. And we want to listen in. Whatever information we have left out. So I, I gave you a lot of information this morning. Wanted to give you a chance to let you go over it. And then uh, we've had some questions that have been coming into uh, to our Twitter and so forth. So uh, we're going to address some of those. There's a question about... Uh, the timing of the re release of the tape. So we've had this tape for a while, and uh, you know we had to diligently review the information that was in the tape, determine if there was any other reason to keep it. Uh, anybody else would be charged in the crime, and uh, we had determined that that was not going to be the case. We got a lot of uh, freedom of information requests for this tape, um, and uh, at some point. It was, it was just determined that we had to release it. We, we didn't have good cause, absent any other reason to, to not re release it under FOI. So, uh, and decided at the same time, um, it wouldn't be prudent to release that information, which, you know, could be uh, uh, a little bit, uh, uh, I don't know. Well, we needed to uh, release that. At the same time, uh, we would release the uh, the name of the uh, officer who was involved in the shooting, um, so that would so that we could just keep uh, keep open and give you all the information that we have. We've pretty much given you every every bit of information that we have now. I don't think there's anything else that that uh, that we have to give out. Regarding the uh, second suspect who was in the store in the tape, uh, Dorian Johnson, we determined that he did not commit a crime and was not complicit in the crime. And. Clarifying uh, one of the other questions that came quite a bit was on uh, the role of two officers. Some, some were thinking it was the same officer who handled the robbery as, the, as was involved in the shooting. That is not the case. Uh, there were two separate officers. This, uh, this robbery does not relate to the co initial contact between the officer and, uh, um, and Michael Brown. Um, ha having said that, I'll, I'll take a few questions. Chief, we haven't heard any information yet, Chief, that would justify the use of deadly force, particularly outside of the car. Okay, uh, I understand that, and these are questions that, that have to go to the, uh, the investigation, and I don't think anything from the investigation is going to be released until it's complete. Chief, is it Chief, do policy we know, that when do a weapon we, is discharged, when a weapon is discharged, is there... the officer who fired the deadly shots, was, um, whether he knew that... Mr. Brown was involved in this incident? That, I'm confused on that, that, whether he knew that Mr. Brown was involved in this incident. I, I can only go up to a certain point, and then it's, uh, then it's unreleased information in the investigation, and that certain point is the initial contact between the officer and, uh, and Mr. Brown was not related to the robbery. Chief, when, when weapons Chris? discharged, is there paperwork that has to be filed out as a matter of protocol describing the conditions under which a weapon is discharged? There, oh, there's a... There's a use of force report that we have, um, but the uh, the whole all the reports that are going to be written on this are going to be written by the St. Louis County Police Department. But that they have total control of the investigation. Report that was made, I imagine, after the shooting. Yes, you have in your possession. You, do not, you I don't have it in my possession. Everything belongs to the county. How yes, ma'am. How do you respond to people who say this is not Michael Brown on the surveillance tape? Um, I, I just think take a look at it. Um, Please, just take a look at the tape. Chief Jackson. Chief Jackson. Chief Jackson. Okay. And if it's under investigation, oh, why not? All I did, no what I did was, uh, was release the videotape to you because I had to. Uh, I've, I've been sitting on it, um, but I, too many people put in FOI requests for that thing, and I had to release why that tape to you. Why didn't it have to be today? Why didn't it have to be today, Chief Jackson? I understand that, but uh, consider that if I just released that tape and didn't release the officer's name. The, there would be similar questions. I'm going to read you a statement here. Michael Brown's family is beyond outraged at the devious way the police chief has chosen to disseminate piecemeal information in a manner intended to assassinate the character of their son. What's your response to that? Uh, my response to that is, uh, first, my heart goes out to the family. Uh, I can't imagine what they're going through. 
Um, we have given you everything that we have now and everything that we can give you. So that's from from our police department. We have you have all, everything we've got. There's nothing else that I can give you. Did you the timing of the release of this video? No, I had a I had a meeting scheduled with the family yesterday morning. Um, representatives from the family came. Uh, the family did not. They hadn't had a chance to. Uh, completely consult with their attorney. And one more Chief, point. Chief, 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 it seems like you're only answering questions that demean the character of Mike Brown. We <clears throat> ask you guys questions about the way you handle this case, why you're releasing information you say it's under investigation. You just put more citizens in trouble by releasing that video that now they have to be protected because their store and their business has been placed in media. And you, you say you're concerned about our safety, but it seems absolutely. like you're only concerned about your officer's safety. I'm absolutely concerned about the safety of my community. Did you find Chief, evidence you on the body more linked? about the officer? Can you say when he worked um, in another police department in this area before he came to you? Can yes, you yes. He was a police officer for six years. Two of those years were with uh, Jennings and four years with, with us. protecting him now? I, I can't go into the, the security of the officer. About injuries, Chief? Did you hire the officer? Yes. Can you talk about his injuries? You mentioned his special Brittany? injuries. Yeah, so the officer involved in the shooting, was he aware of the robbery call? I don't know. I, I don't know what it, what came out in his interview. I know his initial contact was not related to the robbery. It was related okay. to Black and Gray. You're telling us that you're, you're, just, you're telling us that when the officer stopped Michael Brown for the first time, he was not aware that Brown was a suspect in a robbery. No, he was just he was just coming off of a a sick case, which is why the ambulance was there so quickly. So but yes, yeah. let's stay with this. Okay. This is critical. Well. You're saying, what are you saying, Chief? Did he did he know that he was a suspect in a case, or did he not know? No, he didn't. He, he did was he was that walking. Had nothing to do with the stop. So it had nothing to do with stop. So this, he, why why did he stop at this point? Yeah. At this point, at this point, why did he stop Michael Brown? Because they were walking down the middle of the street, blocking traffic. Did that that was it. Did you find evidence of the stolen merchandise on the body? Yes. Why did you put more citizens in harm's way? Why okay. did that Are there any other new questions? Chief, can you Chief, can this the photograph of this officer uh, we talked about? I, I was asked that. Um, I'm going to consult with my uh, city attorney before we do that and make sure that that's all part of FOI. I, I don't know. That's Chief, I just got that question. Chief, was the general the state police to take over the crowd control? Um, they're doing a good job. They've been they've actually been here with us since the very beginning of this thing And uh, I have every confidence in them the st. Louis County Police Department is still here, too Bob McCullough last night said it was a denigration to your to your uh, officers the decision by the governor to bring in the state highway patrol Do you believe do you agree with Bob McCullough? That's uh, that's political and I'm not going to get involved in that what I will say is I I, I know the officer in charge, I've known him for years, and uh, I have every confidence in him. Can you talk about the injury tear gas for three days, Chief? Okay. Now that the state police has taken over and there was no tear gas, are you excited about that? 28. 28. Thank you, Chief. Chief, in terms of the injuries to the officer, you sort of said, can you just go into more detail about the swelling? Was he, was, yes. There's some reports that his eye may have been shut or it was a severe injury. Yeah, well, the, the side of his face was swollen. He shouldn't be able to answer that. No, this, this, is, this has already been released by the county police department. All I, what, I, what I tell you about... Uh, the incident, the shooting, is what's been released by the St. Louis County Police Department. So everything I say to you, I can't say anything other than that. Can you describe this officer to us a little bit? Tell us a little bit more about him. What kind of details did he wear? Uh, how, how would you describe his demeanor? Did you ever have any issues with him? Is it related to racial profiling and discrimination action? No, we, we, he had no complaints. He was, uh, was, he a, he was a gentle, officer? quiet man. He was a distinguished right. officer. Yes. Chief, I just talk all over you. We have a tendency to do that. Yes, we do. I'm sorry. Could you describe him as, as best you can? He, he, was a, he was a gentleman. He's a quiet officer. Um, and uh, he, he, was, he, was, he is, he has been an excellent officer for the police how department. Has, how has he been affected by this? It's, it's devastating. Absolutely devastating. He, he never intended for any of this to happen. And you're Chief, if, to, can you address the, the, the officer if he did not kill, if, if the murderer the murder and the robbery did not come together. Why did the video come out and the robbery it was not related together? Be because the press asked for it. But clarify, Chief, please. Earlier in the day... Pardon me? Does anybody remember who got one? Okay. Does anybody remember who got one? I, I, I don't remember, but I'll find out for you. One more question.
Try it again. Uh, Holly. <laughs> uh, earlier in the day, you said the officer was responding because the description of a robbery suspect had gone out, and that description matched Michael Brown. Now you're saying he only stopped Michael Brown because he was blocking traffic. No, no, no. I, I don't think I said he went there be, because of robbery call. He, he was in the area uh, following the robbery because he was on a sick case. So the, if the robbery had released? nothing to do with the stop, then why would you release the video of the robbery? What's, what's the explanation for the timing of Because it? you asked for it. You asked for it, I held it for as long as I could. But Chief, there's, yes. no, but there's no connection Johnson between that you were going video to and the stop. That video we, 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 Captain Johnson and I just spoke about uh, our communication breakdown, and, and uh, we, I, I talked to uh, Chief Belmer about this. Um, we talked to the command post up there, but I did not personally call him. I should have done that. I, I'm still in the county being in charge mode. Okay. Thank, thank you very much. Thank you very much. Appreciate it. That is uh, Police Chief Tom Jackson, the head of the Ferguson, Missouri Police Department. And again, uh, in, under the guise of a news conference, many more questions, it would seem, than there are answers. And in uh, uh, not taking the, the chief's point in all this, but he is hamstrung by what he can say. It is not his department's investigation. It belongs to the uh, St. Louis County Police Department who are uh, actually in charge of this murder investigation now. One thing I think that is pretty clear, though, is that there is some friction between the city police department and the Missouri Highway Patrol uh, uh, under the uh, command of a captain that was appointed yesterday by the governor of that state, Jay Nixon, who said, uh, in effect, uh, we want to take this out of your jurisdiction, meaning the uh, Ferguson Police Department, and put it in the hands of, this, uh, uh, of the Highway Patrol. It has to be said that last night was a very calm night in Ferguson as a result of all that, but uh, clearly uh, Chief Jackson is, is not particularly enthused about the opportunity or about the, uh, the, the uh, possibility or the reality, I guess I should say, of having his police department effectively elbowed out of the way to try and keep the peace inside that town. Uh, a couple of takeaways here to, to summarize what the, the chief had to say. Uh, there had been a lot of criticism earlier for his release of the surveillance video. Uh, in which it is uh, uh, thought to be that the uh, young man, the 18-year-old Michael Brown, who was shot to death, uh, seen in this surveillance camera video, uh, apparently in a strong-armed robbery, stealing a box of cigars and uh, pushing the uh, convenience store attendant out of the way as he walked outside. This happened a short time before the confrontation in the middle of that street that you heard Chief Jackson talk about, in which Brown was shot and killed. He said that he'd been sitting on that tape for a couple of days, but after several freedom of information requests, he uh, had no choice but to release it and did today. Uh, a lot of criticism within the community there in Ferguson that uh, this is an attempt to try and smear Michael Brown's character. Uh, the chief described the uh, police officer who was uh, we learned his identity earlier today, he called him a gentleman, quiet and distinguished uh, officer, and that uh, in his six years of police uh, work for with the Ferguson Police Department, that there has never been any problem before then. But again, as I say, frankly, still more questions than answers. This is an ongoing murder uh, investigation right now, is how it's being characterized. It is a police shooting, no charges obviously leveled yet. But it is still a very tense situation in Ferguson. It will be interesting to see how tonight goes as well. Live coverage for you here on News Channel 8, about 18 minutes now past 3 o'clock.